Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. Hello everyone, welcome back. This is case number 15 in abdominal radiology. Today our patient is a 40-year-old heavy alcoholic presented with constipation and abdominal distension for one month duration. So this is the anteroposterior supine abdominal radiograph of skatery mature patient. So here you can see some centrally placed bowel loops, large bowel and small bowel loops. This is transverse colon. These are small bowel loops. So they are centrally placed actually not in the normal position they are slightly displaced downwards over no bowel obstruction no significant dilatation of bowel loops and however there's peripheral homogeneous opacity here you can see liver shadow is not seen clearly here here there's peripheral homogeneous opacity around the bowel loops and uh, you can't clearly see the gastric shadow or gastric capable so there's peripheral homogeneous opacity opacification and no portovenous case no pneumoperitoneum and no pneumatosis intestinalis here and visualize bones normal so, in this case, diagnosis is uh, gross ascites. Gross ascites. So, actually, this patient had uh, uh, cirrhosis due to chronic alcohol consumption, the, then portal hypertension, then that, then there's decompensated cirrhosis and leading to ascites. So this is cross ascites. Next line of investigation is ultrasound scan abdomen, and also you can do contrast and CT abdomen to exclude any hepatomas in the cirrhotic patient, and also portovenous thrombosis. Those are the things you have to look for in the CT. So, and also cross ascites. If there's trauma, there can be hemoperitoneum. So it's uh, another DD hemoperitoneum. The, that means blood in the peritoneal cavity after trauma. So it's another differential diagnosis. So in hemoperitoneum, there's blood, so there's uh, high density material that rather than gross ascites. So another one is uh, pseudomyxoma peritone. It can also lead to this kind of a thick material within the abdomen. So that concludes case number 15 in abdominal radiology. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel then you will get notifications of our new videos. And also you can comment on our videos. Thank you everyone. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this.